retire them too early. You know, they just they just don't they get to the the, the natural ability, you know what I'm saying? Just like the horses yeah. in Europe. The horses in Europe, they, they triple crown races for three old on starting to June. They get more developed. Yeah. You know? The horses in America, they for they triple crown races start in May. So it's a big difference. That's why I like the European. They keep up with the European horses coming to America. Yeah. And you know, right? Can you tell me about some of the, the old, the old time black horsemen from back in the days? Some of these guys, what their name was? Clifford Scott. Scotty. Oh, he was one of the best. He was from Chicago. And you had. Uh, I want. I don't want to get his name wrong because they, they all passed away. Domingos, something like that, I, I, if I'm not mistaken. You know, he was from Detroit, he came from here. He came down here doing the background meet. You didn't have too many that came down here to the background when I was in the early 80s, in the 70s. You know, what made these horse guys so good back then, them old timers? Where they started from. They learned from the slavery. Oh, who was the first jockeys? Who was winning all the big races, the black jockeys? But my favorite racetrack of them all, Saratoga. Ain't nothing like Saratoga Springs, New York. The best against the best. Yeah. You gotta have bullets. But this is where I first started at in 1980. Jack, this was Jack Van Bird ball. We all come up to meet Jack Van Bird. Billy, my Frankie brother. Uh, Wayne Catalano was a jockey at one time. Uh, Ronnie E. Banks, he's an agent now. Uh, they was all here when I was 15 years old. I was right here. Back then, right, can you tell, like, like Wayne Catalina, Bill Mott, you can tell these guys is going to be great early yes, on? Yes, 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 yes. Because they learned. They had their work at Like me. I, I've been around. I've met so many good people. If I did what they did, go to school, hung around the barn, I just like the animals, and I just wanted to get information a bit. I'm a, I like to gamble. You see, that's the only reason. Huh? But if I went to school, like some of them, I've been knowing Al, I met Al, I met Al in what, 83, 84, and look where we at now. How many years is that? He came to Chicago, right from Frankie, then he went on his own when Frankie retired. Yeah. Wow. And he probably had one of the he probably had one of the best assistant trainers you ever go get in the horse racing game, Pamela Fitzgerald. Huh? She's one of the best. Told me if I wanted to learn about a horse. See her be at that gate, and, and she taught me much of everything I know about our house. Right, New Orleans, what makes this place so special, man? The people, the food. Huh? It's crazy, you know. There's crime everywhere. You just be yourself. The people here is great. You know what I'm saying? It's just sometimes unfortunate things happen. You know. I've been on this very 61 years. I ain't never had to worry about somebody after me chasing me. Worried about walking around with a gun like some of them do, you know? Yeah. And I keep the law with me, bro. If you ain't got Jesus in the law with you, you're in trouble. In trouble. That's your trouble. Amen. Huh? But these animals will kill you if you don't know what you're doing, you know? Yeah. I've been kicked, stepped on, bit. But that's the thing that come with it. Huh? Real players inside the backstretch. That's what I do. That's good, bro.